Alright, you are back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So it's my son's fifth birthday today and time goes fast. That's been five years. Sometimes I still look at him and go, how am I even a dad? When the fuck did that happen? Five years ago, I was not fit to have a kid. What the fuck was I thinking? I was barely scraping by as a human being five years ago. I was barely doing anything. I was completely out of my mind five years ago. Had no fucking money. So I suppose not a lot has changed in the last five years, except I feel a little bit better. What was I thinking five years ago? I know what I was thinking. My wife was stressing out because she was coming up to like 30. Her parents were fucking on her. And I was like, if not now, when? When I'm in a better position, what better position am I ever going to be in than doing open mics for free and working three days a week, making coffee, toasting people's sandwiches. Let's have a kid because this could be the high point of my life. But I suppose if I didn't have a kid then, I don't think I would have improved my life. I would have pushed everything back. I would have just kept drinking for a few more years, which probably would have ended up in divorce. Then we don't have a kid. And then I probably spiral out of control, to be honest with you. I don't think me and my wife would have made it if we put off having a kid much longer. If we didn't have a kid and I didn't stop drinking for an extra two or three years, then what are we doing? What's she doing? So I suppose the timing was probably right to have a kid. But was I fit to have a kid? Should I have had a kid five years ago? 110% no. Am I happy I had a kid? Definitely, sometimes. Like three or four hours a day, I'm like, this is just the best. The other 20, it's like, fuck, I don't know if a giant can lift a house. Stop asking me that. But I think having kids and having my wife probably saved my life because if you're the type of personality that I am, where you don't really give a fuck about much, especially yourself, I mean, you can be delusionally narcissistic and like selfish and just fool yourself. But deep down, you don't really give a fuck what happens. So when you have kids and a wife you love, you have a reason to do things. You have something you love more than yourself. You have something to give a fuck about. That's what it is. You finally care about something. Not all day. You can't care about them 24-7. You can subconsciously, but consciously... You can't be present for the whole thing. You can be present a few hours a day. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Not very often more. A lot of the time less. I think to have kids, you do have to be a little bit fucking stupid. Like if I was how I am like now, five years ago when I had my kid and we were deciding to have a kid, I would say, no, we can't have a kid. I'm not ready. I've still got so much self-improvement to do. I'm barely scratching the surface here. I don't want to bring a kid into the world while I'm still only operating at like 40% of my potential. But back then, I was just an idiot, didn't know what was going on. So in between darts, I was like, yeah, let's have a kid, fuck it. Time's running out, I suppose. And I'm probably not going to get much better than I am now. This is pretty good. So yeah, five years, it just goes, it flies by especially when you've spent about 4.8 of those years scrolling on your phone. You do miss a lot. So your memory is not that good. And there's something about scrolling that seems to erase your memory as well. So half the time I look over to my kid and I'm like, who the fuck are you? Weren't you a baby like three months ago? How are you talking? Who taught you to talk? I can't remember teaching you. How are you walking? When did that happen? It's kind of a trip out, but anyway, the party was good. I don't usually like these things, but it was fun. People were calling it a birthday party. I was calling it a COVID party because there was like 30, 40 people in here. And a few of them have had COVID before. And one of the aunties had to lie down in bed with body aches and fever. So I don't know what the fuck was going on there. There could be a few cases in this fucking house. And there's still like 30, 40 people in the house. This is just immediate relatives. This is direct aunties and uncles and first cousins of one half of the family. The smaller half. But the great thing about having that many people around 
is I can just disappear for like half an hour, 45 minutes. I can just go chill by myself. No one's looking for me. No one cares where I am. If anything, they all perk up a little bit once I'm gone. But it was your standard fucking birthday. You got your cake, you got your candles, you got the kid's presents that he just fucking ignores. Wasn't even excited about any of it. Wasn't excited about the bike. We fucking showed him the bike. He ran over to the bike and instead of jumping on it and going, wow, this is an awesome fucking bike. He just went straight to the handlebars and started popping the bubble wrap on the handlebars. And has ignored the fucking bike since the last bubble was popped. I did have to sort my kid out just for one minute today. Because he was opening a present. He unwrapped this present and it was a coffee cup. Now I don't know who gets a five year old a fucking coffee cup. But they gave him a coffee cup. And as he was opening it he goes oh this is a boring one. And I made him put it down. I'm like come with me. And I took him around the corner. I'm like hey. You never fucking complain about getting a present. You're lucky you're even getting any presents. You just say thank you to whatever present you get. If I ever hear you say anything but thank you, I'm taking all your fucking presents and I'm going to burn them all. Now get out there and enjoy your piece of shit coffee cup. This is a boring present. It is a boring present, but you don't say that. Fuck that annoyed me. But I sorted him out. He'll probably win a fucking Nobel Prize now after that parenting. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you the fuck later.